She called time on Corrie back in 2006 and went to war with her old sparring partner, Janet, <laughs> when she was a loose woman. And she's gone on to star in loads of top TV shows, including Mount Pleasant and Still Open All Hours. Making a welcome return to the show, it's actress and writer mm -hmm. Sally Lindsay. Oh. Hello! Oh, hi, guys. How are you? Oh, how nice we to see never... your smiling face. We were never sparring partners. Me and Janet used to get on really well. Janet yeah, was on my wedding. I know. They've made us out to be enemies, but actually <laughs> we got on really, really well. We agreed on more things than, you know, I was, I was surprised. But do you think she's mellowed a bit over the years, Sally? Still looks after the twins when they're not here. I don't think Janet ever will mellow, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think she ever should. <laughs> Oh. Very good point, very good point. Now, first of all, before we get on to, to other stuff like your TV work, I just wanted to talk to you about the, the memory walk um, in aid of Alzheimer's Society, and you have a very special reason for doing that, don't you? So could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I'm one of the ambassadors for the Alzheimer's Society and I have been, I've been, I'm supporting the society for 21 years now. And um, so back in my Coronation Street days, um, they asked me to be um, a patron and then I've just been working with them ever since because uh, my my darling Gran Ellen uh, died of this disease many, many years ago when I was 18. There she is. We're very similar looking, actually. And um, she was wonderful. And she got it when she was 65, if you can mm. believe it. And she died when she was 70. And I've always been, you know, it, it's a wonderful thing for me to work for the society because it sort of keeps her alive. And, and the landscape of the Alzheimer's um, sort of world now and uh, the knowledge and uh, the, what the profile of it is immeasurably different to when Gran was dying, when we didn't really know what it was. I mean, she was sort of one of the first people, I think, diagnosed in the country with this disease and nobody really understood. So we've come absolutely leaps and bounds since then. And the memory walk is something we do every year. And we didn't last year. We walked with our dogs last year. We walked in the park last year on our own because of the pandemic. But this is the year we're getting back together. And it's this amazing days around the country where People who are either got um, family members of suffering Alzheimer's, people with Alzheimer's, and we all get together and we do this walk. It's nothing really about fitness. Anybody can do it. You can do a short one or a long one, but it's just getting together and you walk for who you love and the person that you love who's got it or is suffering from it. And it, it's so empowering because everybody gets together and they talk to each other about this very unique disease and how they can how they can help each other. Oh, this tip is good or have you tried this have you done this and 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 also we can cry as well together about the people that we've lost and how horrible it was and and then how wonderful they were before they got the disease it's just such a wonderful magical day for me so it's it's a real highlight of the calendar for me Sally, um, I want to, uh, sorry to interrupt you no, no, uh, please. Sally I just want to ask you about the moment I know that your darling Gran was very close to you and used to do loads of long walks together and since I've worked on this show you know, over the last 10 years, so many people on the show that I've worked with have had close, you know, their close family and friends have had dementia or Alzheimer's. But there was a key moment for you, wasn't there, when you realised yeah. your grand things were not right? Mm. It was, we used to walk, like you said, Janet, everywhere together. And she used to bake cakes and walk to the old people's home, she called it. You know, she's probably the same age. And at the time, and I remember we were, there's a huge road in Gorton where I'm from. And it is, it's, it's, it's an artery road that goes through to Manchester, in East Manchester, Gorton. And she walked across it and she just stopped dead in the middle of the road. And she didn't know where she was or what she was doing. And I was about 13, I think, 14 at the time. And I literally just turned around and she was grabbed her and grabbed her off the side. And she was shaken and she started crying. Now, there's two things my grand didn't do, not that this is a, but she never cried really. She was always terribly down to earth, very, very, very strong. And she was like a wreck. And I remember thinking, wow, something's really, really wrong with Gran because she was the always the one that kept her head, you know, when everybody else was around, was losing theirs. And that was the day that I personally realised, and my mum thought she might be suffering from depression because the early onset of Alzheimer's is, is a quite a similar um, diagnosis, not a diagnosis, quite a similar symptom, sorry. Yeah. And obviously that wasn't to be, it was, it was Alzheimer's. But yeah, that was the, that was the time that petrified me, that I thought so the world is never going to be the same again. 
Sally, you know, this is uh, something very close to my heart. I lost my mum with dementia uh, 12 years ago and, I, you know, I heard about Memory Walk a couple of years back and I think what you said with regards to people coming together is really important because it's... Uh, the heartbreak is almost losing this person before they're physically gone. Yeah. So you lose all that connection, the smile, the laughter, the joy of who they are. And one of my things I struggled with, like you say, never really knew what this de dementia was, is as a carer, how into how to cope with it. What what kind of mechanisms, or who did you speak to, or what kind of support would you advise people to get if you are the loved one that's caring for someone with dementia? Well, this is that you. Oh, this Judy, honestly, that's exactly what it's about. It's like suffering two deaths, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the death of them first yeah. time, and then their actual death because they've gone, they've gone. Their memories. It's so evil because it takes away your memories, and all we are is our memories and what yeah. we've done. Um, but what I would advise is that what's what the why they are society, why the the society is so wonderful is because it, it's on the it's on the other end of a phone, and you can call them up and you can ask for advice, and that's the main thing. That there is somebody out there on the end of the phone that you can talk to who says look I need this respite care yeah. or I, I need advice on this and it, sometimes it's very difficult to get people diagnosed as well because obviously yeah. the, the person doesn't really accept that it's happening to them they just feel they're a bit down or it's not and that's the big challenge and we can help you with that as well it's such an amazing society to to to, to answer all those questions you know the phone number is obviously going to be on your website but yeah. if you've got any problems anybody in your situation apart from what do i do i'm i'm, I'm drowning yeah. here we can help well sally it's a it's a great cause as you say and, and there are eight hundred and fifty thousand people uh, in britain living with some form of, of dementia, and that figure's set to go up to a million by 2025. It's a tsunami, Jane. It's a tsunami. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Really and we, is. We've run out of time, and we had so much more we wanted to talk oh, to no. you about. So good luck with Madame Blanc. But please, maybe come back and talk to us another time about, about all of thing. that. Yes, I will, definitely. Great. Sorry, it's me going on again, isn't it? That's why I was a loose woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's you so nice right. to see you. You take and you care, and, and good luck with the, with the memory walk. Thank you so much.